Bessie put me down. That is not what I meant, Bessie. Anyway, in this chest, Bessie put together some of the strongest custom bosses that we could find. There's Baracko, the Sun Chief, mutant creatures, a giant sea serpent named Stefano, and also a secret custom boss that will spawn in at the end. Well, this looks like a good spot to summon in Jabumbo, the Witherstorm. What's up, Jabumbo? Jabumbo currently is a tier six Witherstorm that only has 300 health. By the end of today's episode, it will probably have over 100,000 health. And if you guys are OG fans of the channel, you know that Jabumbo the Witherstorm will eventually eat everything today and become massive. Uh, that is, if Jabumbo is able to defeat every single custom boss. Jabumbo, eat the sheep! Go, Jabumbo! Jabumbo does not like the sheep. All right, let's try out something a little bit different. So today we have tons of custom bosses. First one we have is Spider Pig. Uh, <laughs> the spider pig is getting exploded! Oh, direct shot! And as you guys can see, our Wither Storm is gaining health crazily fast. Let's go ahead and try out the next custom boss, the Naga. This is a giant two-winged poisonous creature that just got winged out of the air by Jabumbo. Jabumbo, good luck with tons of Nagas! We have an entire army here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how Jabumbo does. Even though our Wither Storm is tiny, it is still extremely powerful! Look at it go! <laughs> These Nagas didn't stand a chance. Let's see how Jabumbo does against Bob the Snow Golem Blob. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Hello. Hello. Do you guys not want to fight? <laughs> I don't think they're, they're going to fight me. I think they're scared of the Wither Storm. I know a custom boss that is not afraid of the Wither Storm, and that is Baracko, the Sun Chief. <laughs> Wait. All of the Bob Blobs are fighting the Sun Chief! It just exploded! And wait, Jabumbo is getting bigger. They do grow up so fast, ladies and gentlemen. What are these giant dinosaur salad creatures? <laughs> I just slapped one in the toenail and it started running! The next custom boss is a giant Beckbro Jack. This thing just got exploded all the way up into the sky. We need more. <laughs> I'm surrounded! Whoa! <laughs> This is kind of weird to watch because they are technically clones of myself, but at the same time, I love watching Jabumbo explode things. <laughs> One more Jabumbo! <laughs> yes! Why do I love to watch the world burn? The world may never know. Red cow, 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 Go, Jabumbo! Wait a second, I think I accidentally was getting hit by our Wither Storm's explosions. Let's put back on our helmet so I don't die today. I honestly don't think the Wither Storm has taken any damage yet. I don't think our Wither Storm has taken any damage quite yet. But by the end of today's episode, we're going to be summoning in the strongest custom bosses you guys have ever seen. Hopefully by then, Jabumbo is ready. All right, what about some giant overgrown hot dog creatures? These things are nutritious and delicious. <laughs> I can't wait for a wither storm to get its tractor beam. Then it will be able to suck up any mob right into its stomach. But for the time being, every single custom boss right now is basically just hamburgers and hot dogs for our wither storm. It's just like a giant barbecue. Wait, look at all the blocks that it's sucking up. Wait, it's getting big, quick. Let's calm down, Jabumbo. It's okay. Let's not be a glutton here. Take your time. Jabumbo's like me in the morning when I wake up and I eat lots and lots of cookies. I just can't help myself. <laughs> All right, but let's go ahead and summon in the upgraded versions of Beck Bro Giant. This is amazing. They all just explode. Jabumbo has its tractor beam. It just ate them all. How does he do it? Wait, well, let's just keep feeding him. Oh my gosh, look, they just get sucked up. It immediately goes straight into its stomach. The craziest part is it's absorbing their entire health bar. Let's try out a mutant Enderman. Nope. Nope. How does it not stand a chance? How does Jabumbo literally eat it in one single bite? The mutant Enderman has 200 health. This just doesn't make sense. How is he doing it? What about a mutant skeleton? Look at its health immediately go up. It just grew another tentacle. I'm sure you guys probably know by now, but once our Wither Storm hits 12,000 health, it will grow into the Destroyer Stage Wither Storm. Uh, but before that happens, let's go try out a Naga Boss. How is that possible? I don't understand the power of the Wither Storm. Uh, if any of you beautiful people down below in the comments want to give me suggestions of what should fight the Wither Storm next, please go ahead and give me suggestions. I need to figure out how to defeat this thing. I will continue to feed it giant Naga snakes. These things are normally pretty difficult to kill, but even though they're big, they're also very juicy, so they just get eaten alive. Zombo, 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 Mutant Zombo Apocalypse. Go, oh, yes, my creatures, go. Do not get eaten alive. I'm actually kind of rooting for the custom bosses at this point. They're trying to smash, but they're not very good at smashing the Wither Storm. <laughs> 
Look at them all just get eaten alive! They jump up and they go directly into its stomach. I am literally just sending so many custom bosses to their death today. But don't worry, by the end, I think there's one that might actually be able to fight it. Cyclops! Cyclops! Nope, Cyclops! Cyclops! Okay, this is starting to get a little bit concerning. How about an explosive mutant creeper? You don't want to eat this. It'll make you uh, gassy. No, okay. I don't think the Witherstorm gets gassy. You see, if I was the Witherstorm, I would probably refrain from eating a giant explosive creeper like the mutant creeper. But this thing does not care about a thing in the world. It just wants to eat the world. Wait a second. This custom boss actually might not die. Let's see. What? There is no way the Ferris Ronan is dead. So this thing only has 40 health, but normally the only way to defeat it is with a sword. So you guys see the sword in its back. Normally when it attacks, you can slice it. But the Wither Storm is able to ingest metal. This dude is literally just made out of metal. This next one is going to be interesting. It is Medusa. Wait, what just happened? Are you serious? Did the Wither Storm really use an Uno reverse card? Jabumbo said not today, Medusa. How is that possible? How is it not turned to stone? The wither storm is immune! I honestly did not see that coming. Let's go change the scenery a little bit, and we're gonna go over to this pond, and we're gonna summon in a giant sea snake. The sneak snake is jumping around. It's slithering its tail. Jabumbo is currently on his way. I don't think Jabumbo appreciates the sea snake trying to eat me. Therefore, we will summon in lots more sea serpents. Wait, I'm actually dying! How am I taking damage? Let's put back on the helmet. Wait, do you guys hear Jabumbo? Jabumbo sounds like it's about to explode. Jabumbo does not sound like his stomach is okay. His stomach sounds like he ate too many mutant creepers. <laughs> and it's over for the custom bosses. We need to go quick, ladies and gentlemen. I need to get to the last couple of custom bosses. That's the only group of bosses that I think are going to be able to fight Jabumbo. Let's try out Frost Mob. Nope. The giant frost creature slowly and steadily got lifted to its stomach. <laughs> I feel like the Wither Storm is just a giant snake, and I'm just summoning in so many tiny mice to feed it. It's a feeding frenzy of custom bosses. Why are the sea serpents putting their head in the ground? Is that effective? Are they just trying to hide? This dude does not look happy that I spawned him in. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm a terrible human. This next custom boss actually might be as big as the Wither Storm. It's the Yorghast. Wait a second. Okay, it is nowhere near as big as the Wither Storm. I stand very correct. It, but at the same time, it's the biggest boss that we've summoned in yet. It's getting closer. It's going directly towards its mouth. What is happening? What is going on? It just exploded. Its entire body just died. And it did no damage to the Wither Storm. It did, however, start to make it rain. So that was kind of rude. I have found a giant sleeping dragon. Let's see if Jabumbo likes to eat giant dragons for dinner. Oh, Jabumbo! Dinner time! <laughs> This dragon does not seem too happy that I woke it up. I'm gonna lightly take your diamonds. I'm just gonna steal a bunch of diamonds. Don't even worry about it. You probably should stop attacking me. Jabumbo is probably on his way down as we speak. The dragon is trying to escape. This is insane. Wait, look at all of the blocks being slowly and steadily sucked up here. That means Jabumbo is close. Uh, Jabumbo, I, I think I'm gonna get eaten alive here. <laughs> All of the dragons are trying to slowly run away, but they're getting sucked back into Jabumbo's tractor beam. I also found this portal. Where's the portal go? Can I get inside? Nope, I don't think I can. Whoa, what? It can actually attack the Wither Storm. No way. So the Wither Storm defeated every single custom boss so far. Also, Bessie, where the flip did you come from? Why do you even want to be here? The next one we have is a Hydra boss. Oh my gosh, it just immediately got sucked up. Wait, there's no way the Wither Storm can eat it. It just did it. What? <laughs> I can't believe it. All right, I guess we're going to have to try something a little bit bigger. I guess we can try an ice dragon, but that also just gets sucked straight up. What about a bigger ice dragon? Uh, don't look at me, don't. Will you just, you just tail whip me? That was a terrible idea. Why would you do that to yourself? Now you're going to get eaten. Jabumbo. What about an alpha Yudi? Excuse me, sir. You are taking me with you to the belly of the wither storm. <laughs> it just threw me. <laughs> And now it's gonna get eaten alive. That's why you don't touch Beckbro Cookie Man. <laughs>
I just walked over here and all of these fake besties and this giant turd dinosaur are getting sucked up by Jabumbo. Spectral dragon. Whoa, it's like a ghost dragon. Whoa, it didn't stand a chance. How about the Nender dragon? Why is the flapping its wings so fast? It's like a hummingbird. Wait, he can actually tank some hits from the Wither Storm. This is the first Minecraft boss that is actually doing somewhat decent. And the weird part is, it's not even a custom boss. It's just a normal vanilla Minecraft boss. The Ender Dragon is fleeing. It's actually trying to run away. Bye, Ender Dragon. I honestly don't blame you. You didn't have to shoot me with a fireball. Custom boss, Asmodeus. This thing has 3,200 health and looks like a giant tank combined with a sea turtle. And also a crab. Did I mention it also has a giant Gatling gun? Wait, no way. It's about to be eaten alive. This is not happening right now. No way. It just ate it in one bite and it put all of the health into its back. Wait, what is happening? Asmodeus is over here, but he's tweaking out. We broke Minecraft. Minecraft is dead. Let's continue to break it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Rathovart. It's getting sucked in. Jobumbo is going in for seconds. I have never seen anything this crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You never want to miss content like this. I don't know if this dude's good. I think Asmodeus gave birth to a ton of baby crab tank creatures. I am <laughs> currently getting surrounded. Jabumbo, please help me. I am uncomfy. Now both Rahovart and Asmodeus are having a dance battle. So we're going to move on to the final custom bosses. <laughs> what are they doing? We're going to see what happens when an actual Wither version Wither Storm tries to fight a giant Jabumbo. All right, little guy, show us what you got. <laughs> He's getting bubbled. He doesn't stand the chance. This is like when a dad goes up against a three-year-old child. You're supposed to let the kid win, but Jabumbo does not understand that. Mini Jabumbo is actually kind of doing well. I mean, there's absolutely no chance that it's going to win, but it's putting up a good fight. That's all right, little baby Jabumbo. You did your best. Let's give him some backup with a fully grown Wither Storm. Now things are gonna get interesting. We have Jabumbo, Jabumbo's little brother, and Jabumbo's child way up there in the sky. Let's see who will win before somebody wins the final custom boss. The only way to tell them apart is that normal Jabumbo has a giant bag where it's storing every single creature that it ate today. This is absolute chaos. For whatever reason, their heads are starting to fall, and then they're sucking up the heads again. What is going on? We're going for it, ladies and gentlemen. I am summoning in the final secret boss, Jazar, the gatekeeper of the abyss. Hey, buddy. This thing is literally a god. I can't even escape it. Jabumbo, now would be the time to kill everybody, please. I don't know if I like this. I literally died. I have the infinity suit on, and I died. Oh, flip, dude, and followed me all the way back home. This is bad. Jabumbo is getting sucked into the white hole. What? <laughs> this thing is crazy. I will kill you. Punch his kneecaps. I am doing zero damage. Absolutely zero damage. <laughs> this thing is hitting me over the head with its magic wand. Where is Jabumbo when you need him? Well, beautiful people, it seems like it's a stalemate. Neither have taken any damage. Let's see if I can wrap this up. I can't even wrap this up. Oh no, I did it. Let's go. Good work, Jabumbo. Wait, what's happening? Why are we moving back and forth? Jabumbo got sucked in too. What? No way. Our Wither Storm actually died. <laughs> It worked! Oh, the Witherstorm is already going in. Oh my gosh, it just assassinated them. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did not know, the Parasite mod has been installed in my Minecraft world and I haven't been able to get rid of it. These things are absolutely disgusting and they basically infect your entire Minecraft world with these extremely ugly parasites. Look at that, they're already spawning in more parasites. I have to be super careful that I don't get infected myself. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final straw. I need the Wither Storm to defeat every single one of these parasites in today's video, or else they are just going to keep coming back. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, while the Wither Storm is absolutely destroying these parasites, we are trying to hit 5 million subscribers before the end of 2021. In order to help me out, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit worse than I thought. Yo! 
No, the witherstorm isn't even protecting me. It's going after the larger parasites. So these things have different stages to them. It looks like most of the stages right now are lower stage. Well, that doesn't mean they'll heat up over time, especially to try and fight back against the witherstorm. Look at that, bro. They're literally just in the air having a battle. Oh, buddy, witherstorm, witherstorm, please come down here. Please, 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 please just eat them all. Now, if you guys haven't seen the witherstorm before, um, you may not know that it can evolve. I don't know if you guys can see, but in the top left hand of the screen, the witherstorm's health keeps going up and up and up. It started out at 300 health, and every single time it hits a couple thousand health as you can see it will evolve so it is right now just eating the parasites alive the witherstorm itself is also a parasite it basically just eats entire minecraft worlds so i'm not really sure if this was the best solution but honestly ladies and gentlemen i am tired of dealing with these parasites we have to do something about it and luckily i'm able to control the witherstorm i am not however able to control these parasites which is exactly why we are going to have to destroy them and by me i mean my friend the witherstorm the main thing we have to defeat is these these things are beckons they are basically Basically, the spawners and also spreaders of the parasite. I don't like what's in front of me right now, ladies and gentlemen. This doesn't look good at all. We're gonna run. We got. We we got. We we gotta go. We gotta go. The witherstorm is all the way over there. It's fighting some massive creature. It seems like the parasites are slowly adapting. They're extremely good at it, and if they can somehow adapt to be uh, as good as the witherstorm, we are basically dead. Okay, dude, this thing just keeps following me around. No, it just one hit killed me. Luckily, the witherstorm is still very very close by, dude. It is exploding them. It's hitting them into the air, and it's absorbing all of their body. Look at it, look at it, look at it. What is this thing? It's called an adapted manducator. Oh my gosh, it is dead now. Now the only problem is when they get exploded, they spread even more parasites. So I'm just gonna go in here. I'm just gonna make sure that we uh, wrapped up every single parasite. I think that they're all dead. The Witherstorm is slowly evolving too. Once it hits 12,000 health, it will go into its destroyer stage. That'll basically make it so it will eat all of these blocks and then I no longer have to worry about any more parasites. We're gonna slowly approach this uh, stage three Beckon. Why well, hello there Beckon, how you doing today? I might have to just slice you down. Don't spawn in anything. It's spa oh, no. That was the wither storm. Yo. Okay, it just spawned in something called a Kaifofis. Never mind. It's dead. This is why I love the wither storm, ladies and gentlemen. I can make it dance, and I can also make it kill things for me. What? More spawned in? Are you have you have to be kidding me? You actually gotta be joking! Nah, 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 nah. Where's the witherstorm? Where's the witherstorm? Okay, the witherstorm is is back. It's it's eating them. It's actually it's actually sucking them up. Let's go. This is exactly what I need, ladies and gentlemen. If this thing can actually suck them all up and eat them, then we will no longer have to worry about the parasites. Dude, oh, dude! Every every time it's sucking them out of the ground, they're trying to spawn in more parasites. Whoa! Wait a second. The witherstorm's getting awfully big right now. What is that in the sky? That thing looks like an alien abduction. I'm just waiting to happen. We're okay, ladies and gentlemen. As long as I say behind my best friend here, the Witherstorm, we shouldn't have to worry about the ancient dreadnought that has been evolving over here by itself. Um, okay, wait, they're about to, oh, what? Huh? It just ate it. It just ate the ancient dreadnought. We're actually doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, I, I have to be the, the recon on the ground. I need to make sure that there are no more of these things spawning in the ground. I don't see any more of the Beckon summoners. They still have their goo all around, so that could mean that more could potentially spawn in. Look at that, look at that, see? See, they just came out of the ground. Somehow, someway, ladies and gentlemen, we need to get the Witherstorm into the Destroyer stage so it will start eating all of these blocks. It looks like it's starting to eat quite a few. It looks like most of the village has been cleared out of any of the summoners. Let's go ahead and check this savanna biome over here because honestly, I'm not sure how far of a spread that this thing has caused. Ow, ow, where are you coming from, Witherstorm? Hey, Witherstorm, I got a lunch for you. You got a little lunchable. Okay, dude, you're, you're actually dead. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna be dead in about like... How did it kill me? I'm pretty sure the Witherstorm just ate him. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we actually did it. I don't see any more parasites spawning around. The Witherstorm is getting so close to the... Just, the, 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 oh, mama. Oh, holy mac and cheese. Oh, the PB and J want to stick. What is happening? Well, okay, brain, focus, focus, brain. What is happening? What are we doing? What? The Witherstorm is just eating them. Yo! We have so many ancient parasites, and they are just going directly into my Witherstorm's stomach. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. This is everything I could have hoped for. Let's go. It's just eating them. It is eating them like Lunchables. Oh, my gosh, bro. Wait a second. They're actually everywhere, though. 
Look at them. And the Witherstorm isn't even, like, it's close to the Destroyer stage, but it's not quite there yet. Honestly, after eating every single one of these parasites, I don't know how the Witherstorm is just not sick. Um, 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 this thing is just right above my head. Luckily, the Witherstorm has a gravitational pull and also a tractor beam, so nothing is getting close to me. It is picking up the Ancient Overlord. No way. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. It just ate everything. And, ladies and gentlemen, it is about to evolve in the, to the Destroyer your stage yes yes come on come on we're so close we're so close you can do it you can do it buddy yes the destroyer wither storm is ready to eat everything oh my gosh perfect timing too it looks like over here there's still a couple more parasites that are spawned in look at it it's just slowly getting sucked up right into the wither storm they don't even stand a chance look at them they're getting uprooted right now right into the destroyer wither storm the best part is too i don't know if you guys can tell but the wither storm is slowly sucking up all of these parasitic blocks oh another one just popped down the ground okay all right wither storm wither storm wither storm get it oh that dude dead oh another one just spawned in right behind me it's getting sucked up and it is now inside of the wither storm stomach oh just a massive horde spawned in over here. They just got deleted. Okay, that was, yep, that's exactly what you need to be doing, Mr. Witherstorm. Blow up every single parasite. Well, okay, there's more coming out of the ground. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know, ladies and gentlemen. The Witherstorm isn't really exploding this area quick enough. Whoa! I think he may have heard me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been about 10 minutes, uh, and I've just been kind of like collecting all the parasite stuff, but I'm not really sure what happened here. That was the weirdest thing I've seen all day, and I've seen a lot of weird things today. Wait a second, what? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no more of the parasite blocks. I think we did it. All of the parasites ran away. Now, the only thing left to do is somehow get the Witherstorm back in its carrier. Come here, buddy. This is all part of the plan. C come on back in the carrier. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our infinity attack damage armor so I don't get pooped on by the Witherstorm or the mutants. Now, if I had to give my own personal opinion about who's going to win, I think the mutants may be able to kill a very tiny Witherstorm. Now, if somehow the Witherstorm does start quickly evolving, I don't think the mutants stand a chance. Especially if the Witherstorm can get to the destroyer stage, the mutants are dead. Absolutely just ob obliterated. They're just gonna, they're gonna die. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you over in the battle dimension. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Bessie was able to clear out all the titans and past wither storms from our flat battle world. Our first mutant that we're gonna be testing out is spider pigs. If you guys missed out on our cookie craft modded survival series, myself, Alec, and Adam spawned in a lot of mutants. These things look super weird and are extremely powerful. Maybe not the spider pig, but here, let me show you. Spider pig, yep, yeah, they all team up together and they will poop webs on your face. So you gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and spawn in the first Witherstorm against the spider pigs. All right, Witherstorm, protect me. Well, this one's just going to be a baby tiny Witherstorm. He, he didn't, he, uh, yeah, yo, dad, yo, Mr. Witherstorm, I am getting swarmed by spiders with pig heads. You giant pleb, get over here. I am not having fun. If it looks like I'm having fun, I'm not, I swear. Okay, it kind of tickles a little bit. Get off of me. Maybe if I bring the small army of spider pigs over here. There we go, the Witherstorm is right on top of them. Oh, it exploded one. No, 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 come back this way. Why does the Witherstorm not like to kill the mutants? Oh, never mind, here he goes. For whatever reason, the spider pigs don't even seem to be worried by the Witherstorm. Which is a little bit concerning. Also, the sheep doesn't really seem to care either. Am I the only one that sees a giant, slowly evolving Witherstorm destroying everything? I guess we can try out the next mutant, the mutant snow golem. Okay, you're gonna need to start attacking something. Nobody has hit anybody yet. These people have paid good money to see this awesome, epic fight. Actually, technically, you guys haven't paid any money. Um, you can subscribe. That could be your payment. If that subscribe button is red, be sure to tap it with your picky toe knuckle. Also, be sure to turn on all notifications so you guys do not miss out on future battles. Or if I end up spawning this giant wither storm in cookie craft. If I end up doing that, I will not tell Alec and Adam beforehand. Okay, this guy's starting to get out of hand. Let's try out a milk 
mutant skeleton. This is the first actual mutant that should be able to do a little bit of damage, and he got flung into outer space by a fireball. Oh, did he just get eaten? Hold on, let's try it again. We have a mutant skelly. Oh my gosh, he's eating them like cookies. No, wait, wait a second. Mutant zombie. He ain't the mutant zombie. No flipping way. Okay, creeper. If he eats the creeper, the creeper will explode inside of his belly. It's not exploding. I'm starting to get a little bit worried, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is eating my mutants left and right. Weatherstorm, I think you've gotten too powerful for your own good. I have a new idea. I'm going to spawn in a ton of mutant skeletons before I spawn in the Weatherstorm. Guys, I would really not hit me. I am not in the mood. There we go. I believe we have around 25 mutant skeletons. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you think they will be able to take down a baby Weatherstorm. There we go. Wow, they all just got exploded. They all still have a little bit of health left. Some of them just got absolutely yeeted and exploded. They're getting bounced around like it's a trampoline. They haven't done any damage. Wait a second. It looks like they're damaging the Witherstorm. Oh, look at his health. It's going down a little bit. No way. Let's go. Go ahead, viewers. I have seen the Witherstorm demolish pretty much every single mob in existence. I would love for the mutants to get a win uh, by the skeleton parts lying around. It seems like they're getting defeated left and right. Go ahead, my little skeleton skeleton. He, he, he's dead. He, he died right in front of my eyes. Once again, our weather storm is getting too powerful for his own good. <laughs> Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have mutant zombies. Please do not body slam me. Stop with the body slam. Stop it. I'm too quick for you guys. We have another weather storm versus, I believe, 30 mutant Zombies. Let's see who will win. Go ahead, Zombos. Whoa. There we go. They're all still going for me. Big mistake, guys. I would start punching and smacking and Hulk smashing that Witherstorm. <laughs> they aren't even going for it. Hold on. I'm going to fly up super high so they don't even see me anymore. There we go. None of them have been able to hit the Witherstorm. This is insane. Oh my gosh. They're dying left and right. Now, the thing about mutant zombies is they will only die if you burn them. And it seems like the Witherstorm already figured that out. This guy tried to go up for a body slam. It didn't work. The wither storm kind of uh, immediately dodged it. They're getting burned to a crisp like a barbecue. This is crazy. The worst part is the wither storm is evolving every single time. They're not able to do enough damage because the wither storm keeps gaining health. There's only a few more mutant zombies left, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly don't think the mutants are going to stand a chance unless I combine them all together. Maybe the creepers will be able to explode the wither storm. We'll test that out in just a second here. Actually, I think this battle's probably done. Mutant creepers! All right, listen up, mutant creeper scums. Stop exploiting me. Stop it. You guys need to listen up, okay? You will all die if you don't listen to me. That is 60 creepers. No, don't stop. All right, you guys didn't listen to me. You're all gonna die. Comment down below who you think will win. 60 mutant creepers versus the wither storm. I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. They are inbound. They're jumping around. Oh, they all got hit up in the sky. One of them already died. They're already exploding. What is happening? Yo, wait a second. They're actually exploding the weather storm. I can't see anything right now. They got charged. How did they get charged? That was crazy. Wait a second. Where are the creepers? No. Flip it away. The weather storm killed them all. They did get the closest, though. They got the Witherstorm down to a little bit under half health. But sadly, they weren't able to get the job done. So last but not least, we need to test out the Mute Enderman before combining all of their power together to see if maybe they stand a chance against the Witherstorm. Welcome to the party. Enderman, please don't kill me. Everybody has tried to kill me, and they have regretted it immediately. Seems like they understand what I'm saying so far. They haven't... Okay, never mind. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Witherstorm versus Enderman. You and army in three, two, one. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, they all just got exploded again. It literally just looks like a black hole of Enderman. They're getting exploded. Oh my goodness, dudes, there are particle effects everywhere. This is crazy. There are so many XP particles. All of them are trying to teleport around to get close to the Wither Storm, but it's not working. I'm gonna go ahead and just stand in the middle of this mob. How's everybody doing? What's up, Jeffrey? Arnold? Ender guy. It looks like the Witherstorm is taking a little bit of damage. The mutant Enderman's really only good attack against the Witherstorm is to teleport and hit him, or to grab a grass block and throw it at him. The only problem is if they pick up a block and throw it at him, the Witherstorm eats it. So far, though, they have lasted the longest out of any of the five mutants. I really don't count the spider pigs as mutants because, you know, they're spider pigs. 
Oh no, the wither storm just evolved. Well, if I was you guys, I would run for your flipping life. No, no, don't pick up the blocks. Put down the blocks and teleport as fast as you can. They're still all going for him. That's crazy. This looks so cool, especially because there's so much lag. It almost looks like a slow motion fight. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're already on fire, so you're definitely gonna die. You see, this guy's smart. He's at the edge of the battle, just kind of pretending like he's fighting, and I'm pretty sure he just teleported to another planet. At least that's what I would do if I was an Enderman right now. The mutant Enderman do have a secret attack, though, where when they do die, they absorb everything, pull it into the center, almost like a black hole, and then explode. Sadly, the Witherstorm seems to actually like it. It's almost like the merry-go-round for him. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and give it to the Witherstorm. Every single one of these Endermen, uh, I, I think, are gonna explode now. That was so weird, but kind of amazing. For the last battle, I'm going to go ahead and spawn in 64 of the four main mutants. We're gonna have 64 skellies. 64 zombies. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean it. Okay, they're all gonna start fighting each other. Flip, dude. Why did I do? Why did I do that? No, guys, you don't even understand what's about to happen. It's so funny because they're all fighting each other, but they all need to team up against the wither storm. Oh gosh, skeletons are dying left and right. The creepers are all dying too. Might as well just finish it off with the mutant enderman. So ladies and gentlemen, I I think I managed to get them to all stop fighting. They're all gonna hopefully work together against the Wither Storm in just a second. Or oh, they're all gonna start fighting now. Okay, I gotta spot them in three, two, one. Wither Storm! Oh my goodness, the Wither Storm exploded them right off the bat. No, no, guys, see, you should probably not fight each other because the Wither Storm's gonna eventually kill you all, if, especially if you let them evolve. They don't understand English, I don't think. Well, I'm just gonna sit back, relax sip my milk and watch the battle go down. The Witherstorm already is evolving. That was the fastest I've ever seen it go from stage one to stage two. There are so many particles. It is crazy. Where did all this fire come from? Everything is dying left and right and they weren't even able to damage the Witherstorm yet. Well, it was nice knowing everybody. I tried to warn them to stop fighting each other, but they obviously are very stupid. <laughs> Why do I have a mask on my head? Get it off me! Get it off me! Oh, there we go. Got it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, Bessie has explained to me, in this chest over here, we have the Wither Storm and also a chest filled with the scariest Minecraft bosses ever. Uh, we also have a book called Warning? Warning! Go to the battle dimension, you nub. If you do the battles here again, I will turn you into a watermelon and smash you. Well, Bessie. Oh, guys, Bessie really does care. Now, I would just go ahead and do the battles here, but I also don't want to be turned into a watermelon and smashed. That does not sound fun. So I'm going to collect all my infinity damage armor today, which allows me to take absolutely no damage. We also have the Wither Storm, our ender chest filled with mobs, and a couple other useful items. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, I think this should hopefully be far enough. Mr. Slime, you're going to be the least of my worries today, brother. So first things first, we're going to spawn in the pet Wither Storm, which is hopefully my pet. Seems to like me a lot. Hey, what's up, big guy? Okay, I have him some golden apples that I should actually probably save for myself. Today's gonna get hectic, so we should have stick it till the end. Hey, no, hey, get back here, buddy. He's already on the run. This dude just goes crazy. Oh, gosh, okay, we already have some of the weird, crazy, scary Minecraft mobs spawning in. I have to move fast before the Wither Storm absolutely starts destroying everything. So let's see, the first mob we have is an undead Crypt Keeper, and we also have Reapers. And the uh, hey, look, look, we got this guy. We got mummies. Oh my gosh, they spawn in so many different sizes. That's amazing. Hey, why aren't you helping me? There is literally mummies, and they're trying to tickle me. Go ahead for me, tickle monster. Go ahead, yes, yes, destroy, annihilate. Boom, there we go. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a little bit more overpowered than I thought. The Wither Storm, just from eating those mobs alone, is already at 1,000 health. Moving along here, we have Reapers, which are even scarier than the Crypt Keepers. Reaper number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, okay, we only have ten. I'm gonna stand right here, hands off, and let's see what the Wither Storm does. Uh, okay, all right, I have something called Fear. I don't know what it's doing, but it's making me get like weird tangles. Is the Wither Storm here? Oh, yes he is. I don't know what that thing is either. We have a Tremor. Can you just destroy it or eat its face? Oh God, okay, it's staring right into my soul. It doesn't even have eyeballs. Also, dudes, I apologize for any lag in today's video. There are going to be so many demonic, scary Minecraft creatures that, uh, yeah, my computer will probably end up exploding. 
Our next set of mobs don't sound too terrifying, especially because the weather storm is already in his tractor beam state. So let's see if I spawn in. One, two, uh, bye. Yeah, he <laughs> just immediately got sucked up. Let's see if I can get the wither storm to kill this giant frog-like creature. It's actually nothing like a frog. It's more like a stegosaurus. How about if I spawn in a warg? Uh, 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 why, why is it licking my face? Oh, there we go. Look, it's getting tractor beamed. <laughs> <laughs> it just got exploded. Two works, three, four. <laughs> this is insane. The weather storm is just eating these things like cookies. They are so terrifying too. Oh no, dudes. The weather storm is getting close to evolving into the destroyer stage. I don't even know if it's ready for it. Look, we still have so many more mobs. We have chupacabras. These things are disgusting. That's what I look like when I wake up in the morning and now I'm dead. How about a Wendigo or a Wendigo or a, a Wenbigo? We still have a couple more of these. We can get a good look at this very strange looking blue deer creature. And now we can't because they've been eaten alive by my Witherstorm who does not care about anything other than eating mobs and people and cookies. We also have a first flying creature. Okay, yep, fly right into my Witherstorm's mouth, please. You're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. Yep, just keep flying around, fly up and down. And my winter storm is now a destroyer. These mobs are actually going to pose a little bit of a challenge. They have almost 240 health. The winter storm is a little bit too big to actually precisely kill these guys. So get a little bit worried here. Hello, bird. Hey, birdie. I'm gonna punch the birdie. Hello, little big giant bird of death. I love you. I'm <laughs> just giving them hugs. Oh, guys, look, they're trying to eat me. Oh, and now they're gonna get eaten alive. Let's see what happens if I take off my helmet. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, they are biting my head. Bad idea. Terrible idea. Why would you guys let me do that? Now, where is my little giant baby wither storm? Yep, he's up there just kind of hanging out. I honestly don't think he even cares about these tinier scary bosses, even though they're trying to eat my face. He just, you know, it's not really a problem for him. He doesn't care about me anymore. We also have some of the spookiest mobs ever. We have a banshee, which literally is just holding eyeballs and can see everything. I don't know about you guys, but this just creeps me out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have nightmares. What is that thing? I didn't even spawn that. <laughs> They're all trying to tickle me with their eyeballs. I really want to see what happens if I spawn in bigger bosses. I'm spawning in tiny little specters, banshees which hold their eyeballs, but I haven't spawned in any giant monstrous devil creatures yet. Is this one? Uh, no, that's the bumblebee. That's even more scary though. Ow! Ow! What is storm? Ow! It's really hurting! Uh, I, yeah, I think he can sense my sarcasm. It doesn't really hurt too bad. Come on! Seriously, dude! Okay, now it's actually starting to hurt, and this dude just does not care. I liked you better when you were a little tiny baby, Witherstorm. We also have 20 tarantulas. Why? What best thing give me tarantulas? She knows I am terrified of spiders. Look at these things. Oh, okay. How am I going to freeze a fear? Oh, they're jumping everywhere. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, they got me. They, they flipping got me. <laughs> what do I do now? I'll talk. With a storm, now would be a fantastic time to come in with a giant fireball. We only have a couple more crazy, scary Minecraft creatures before we get to the absolute giant beast. Not sure what these things are, but okay, this is, this is weird. This is weird. He's trying to kiss me. Excuse me, sir. Please. Okay, stop it. Oh my gosh, why did I spawn in so many more? Witherstorm, dude, I understand. You don't care anymore, but seriously, I'm surrounded. Yeah, yeah, it's literally like a feeding frenzy for them. If I didn't have this armor on right now, I would legit just be dinner for whatever these things are. Bessie did tell me before this video that I'm able to spawn in as many as I want. So since this guy absolutely hates my guts now, I'm gonna spawn in another baby with a storm and see if maybe this guy will be able to do some damage. Oh yeah, look, he's already moving in. He's killing slimes. He's killing fake Bessies. Let's see how he does against a behemoth. Hi, my name's Jack. You want cookies? He does not want cookies. He wants to kill me with green fire. Oh yes, the baby with a storm's coming over and just yeeted yeah. him. Let's see if he can manage against a beholder, which I think is actually bigger than the tiny little wither storm. Oh my gosh, what was that? We're still hanging in there. The wither storm 
is just going insane. We have something called an Ignivith. Oh my gosh, it's a giant dragon. It has 400 health. Luckily, my Wither Storm is going crazy right now. Oh my gosh, it's doing so much damage, but there's so many other mobs. The bigger Wither Storm's coming in, which is great. And I think the bigger Wither Storm ate the fire dragon. This is insane. I'm literally starting to lose control of everything. I understand why Bessie did not want me to do this experiment near our house. Oh my gosh, this one's going to evolve soon. I need to make sure to finish the experiments. We need to get the Beholder out of the way, which just has a giant eyeball and super weird hair. Luckily, that was not a problem for the Wither Storm. Which means we are officially on the last two biggest, scariest Minecraft creatures that you have ever seen. The first one we have is called Rahobar, who is just massive and has 5,000 health. Oh my gosh, dude, the big Wither Storm's coming in. He's gonna chop his head off. I really hope he does anyway. That'd be great. He's also spawning in these demonic heads, which are just chasing me around like crazy. Dudes, be sure to comment down below who you think is going to win. It's definitely not going to be me or my computer. We are both, <laughs> I think, already lost this battle, but the Wither Storm still stands a chance. I'm gonna attempt to move in and try and punch this dude in the toes so that my Wither Storms will hopefully come in and try and do just a little bit of damage. Oh yes, dude, my Wither Storm is literally at its feet, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's firing off fireballs that do like around 10 damage, but that's nearly enough. This monster has 5,000 health. Now, luckily, it doesn't seem like the Wither Storm is getting damaged whatsoever, but I'm getting surrounded by these exploding heads of death. Stop it, please. Please, I, I beg of you, I will give you 12 cookies each. No? Okay, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure, guys, if my Wither Storm that's still tiny get into the destroyer phase and it's still locked on to the giant Rahobar, it should be able to take it down super easily. At least that's what I think. I really hope so, because then that would make this 10 times easier for me. If he can take it down and somehow Rahobar destroys both my Wither Storms, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to tell Bessie that uh, I'm gonna need some help. And then she'll probably turn me into a water melon and squash me. So then we're back to square one. I do not want to get squished today, so Mr. Witherstorm, please take this giant scary beast out. Oh my gosh, dudes. Okay, I think it's making the transformation into the destroyer stage, and it's doing a ton of damage right now. It's insane. Oh, and there we go, boys. Oh, they're wrestling. Somehow, Rahobar was able to survive the initial explosion, but I'm not sure how long he's gonna last, boys. Dudes, I honestly could not tell you what the heck is going on right now. Somehow, the Wither Storms were able to sever parts of their body, lay them on the ground, and they're acting as turrets. They also have Rahobar locked in place with their tractor beams, so this dude is literally just stuck. I'm not sure what the Wither Storms up there are doing, but I'm sure they're doing something very important. I hope. The Wither Storms are honestly putting in so much work and they're doing a ton of damage. It is taking quite a while though. I honestly thought that the Wither Storms would legit just eat this dude in like three giant bites, but they seem to be taking their dandy old time with this. Luckily, Bessie did give me an Ender Dragon pet. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but we might as well try it out in three, two, one, Ender Dragon. Okay, this dude just summoned it. <laughs> A giant wall of green fire! I think it's actually damaging my Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragons and the Wither Storms are so, so close, dudes. For some reason, I can't see his health, but you guys can see he's on phase three, his final stage, and he literally has one little sliver of health left. I'm honestly not sure how this giant scary beast is still alive. He legit has six health, three health, and just like that, they were able to take out the biggest, scariest boss ever. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the dragon battle. Now, first things first, I need to grab my infinity boots, leggings, breastplate, and uh, face mask, helmet thing. This is going to make it so that I will be invincible today. I'm not gonna be the one fighting, my dragons are. In this chest, we have so many different challenges and we are going to finish it off with a ginormous wither storm battle. Now, obviously, I don't know if my dragons are gonna win or lose. Comment down below what you guys think. But I had Bessie make this secret cloning machine so that once I grab my dragons from the dragon cave, we should be able to clone them just in case things go poorly. Now, obviously, I'm hopeful that they'll win. But worst case scenario, if I lose a dragon or both of my dragons, 
I don't really feel like training them all over again, so we're gonna have clones. Hey, Inferno. I have not been down here in a little bit. How you doing? You just be putting your head in the blocks. Are you mad at me? Let's go ahead and grab Inferno's ice dragon steel armor. And we could also grab some extra food for him. Oh, I forgot how sick he looks. Especially with the ginormous set of armor on. I'm sorry I gotta do this. I gotta put you in this horn. And then if we fly across the hall over to the icy section, you guys probably remember my giant ice dragon frostbite. Let's go ahead and put on the fire dragon steel armor. This is going to be super effective, especially when I have Inferno and Frostbite together. If they accidentally hit each other, this armor should negate any damage that they do to each other. Now, I'm pretty sure they get along. I've had them both out before. Okay, perfect. Yes, they don't fight yet. They might get a little angry, especially later on when there are giant mobs to fight. But the last thing I need to do is give these to Bessie, put them in her cloning machine, and get as many dragons as possible. All right, Bessie, here we go. She told me that I should be able to put them in this chest. It has a cloning machine attachment, so we'll put Frostbite on the left, Inferno on the right, and now if I step back, they should clone. And just like that, it's done. Look, now we have two Frostbites and two Infernos. For the time being, I'm just going to take one of each for the battles today. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the battle dimension. We have our dragons, and we also have our challenges. We also have a ton of wild animals around here. They are going to get absolutely demolished. First up, let's see who we have. I think this should be Inferno. Yes, it is. Look at this big boy. Next up, let's get the girl Frostbite out here. What's up, Frostbite? How you doing? First challenge of the day, we have chicken. Chicken is dead. Challenge one complete. So by default, my dragons will not attack unless they get hit or if I punch something. Hey guys, Inferno, Frostbite, where are you guys going? We need to get them back down. Let's see what happens if I spawn in a creeper. Okay, I'm gonna punch the creeper. Hey guys, guys over here. Frostbite, you're like 8,000 blocks away from where you need to be. The creeper's gonna explode. Never mind. He was hit by a toenail of a dragon. Now, I don't plan on riding Inferno or Frostbite today, but if I need to, I definitely will. Also, for those of you guys wondering where Ultraviolet is, my ginormous lightning dragon, currently, I didn't know if I should bring all three dragons together. If you guys think I should, definitely smash like. The next dragon video that we do, I will have all three. Next challenge, Wither Skeleton, get him! <laughs> This is deadly. That's not even fair. Oh my gosh, we have another dragon. Bad dragon, don't do this. The dragon came straight for me and this thing is about to get destroyed. Look at it, it's frozen. And then it immediately gets hit with Inferno's fire. Oh no, look at it. See, this is what I was afraid of. They're both using their abilities and they're both hitting each other. So I need to be super careful to constantly heal them. Get out of it, guys, guys, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop trying to eat him. Get your ginormous reptilian butts over. Over here. Hey guys, look, look, there, there, there's a bear. Get the bear. Attack the bear. I'm really sorry, Barry. This is nothing personal. The bear is dead. These challenges are going by extremely quick. These are just warm up rounds, though, because later on, we're going to be spawning in <laughs> the Wither Storm. The massive Wither Storm boss, which is literally going to destroy this entire world. Actually, I'm not so sure anymore. This Elder Guardian got one hit bit KO'd. Let's try something just a tad bit stronger. We have an Ice Giant. I think this thing should have over 100 health. I don't know if Frostbite would have been very effective, but Inferno took care of that thing as fast as I take care of cookies. Instantaneously! Okay, this one at least has to survive more than three seconds. We have a mutant zombie. This thing always gives me trouble. It got stomped. It literally got stomped in one single smash of the foot. Dude, dude, no. Okay, so this guy gets up a few different times, but I don't think he's gonna stay up for very long. He is getting just stomped on. This is so disrespectful. <laughs> Summoned in a minion. This dude is so dead. Look at him. He's in between his toenails. This just is not fair, ladies and gentlemen. I am slowly and steadily gaining confidence that my dragons will be able to smash through any bosses today. The next one we have is a Cyclops. Now this thing is massive, but I don't even know what I was gonna say. That dude just got smushed like an ant. This is extremely satisfying to watch too. Let's see, we have a wither. Oh wait a second, this is the first boss. I mean, technically the mutant zombie and the Cyclops were bosses in their own right, but this is an actual boss from Minecraft itself. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't even see the wither. I lost it. Wait a second. This is an upgraded wither. It has to be. Look, it's destroying blocks and it's summoning in minions. 
Okay, I need to make sure that I'm constantly healing them. I guess I could just hop on their back. Actually, I don't even need to. I don't have to worry about anything. This Wither Boss is already down to melee mode. What, what the heck is this dude doing? Okay, I need to make sure to get one more hit off on it just so that they know they need to attack now. Oh, they are definitely attacking. I can't even see the Wither. Oh, no, that's an elephant. I thought that was the Wither Boss. There is the Wither Boss right there. Oh my gosh, he's back down to melee mode. Now, as long as the dragons do not attack each other, they should be able to absolutely destroy this Wither Boss. They are just smashing his health down like it's nothing. Look at Inferno. Inferno is taking the lead here. Frostbite is just like over here, just, just twiddling in circles. I don't even know. What are you doing? Not that it really matters. Inferno is making quick work of this Wither Boss over here. The only problem is the Wither Boss is so tiny compared to my massive dragons, and it's definitely like 10 times faster. And it's pounding through blocks, which is I, something that I've never seen before. This thing is starting to creep me out a little bit. What the? Did it just do like a rhino smash attack? Never do that again. It's loading up a smash attack. What is that? Okay, I'm getting a little bit worried that this wither boss is a little bit more than I signed up for. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's getting wing attacked by Inferno. It literally has maybe five health left. Oh my gosh, it's getting burned. I don't think wither bosses are affected by fire though. So this is doing absolutely nothing. And this dude still is trying to rhino smash me. Oh my goodness. The wither boss has been defeated or oh, exploded. I think he was gassy. Okay, well, I would like to say good job, Frost bite, but I literally don't think you did anything. The final challenge we have before the first version of the Wither Storm, which will be the tiny Wither Storm, not the Destroyer Wither Storm, is the Ender Dragon. Now, if they're able to defeat an Ender Dragon, I think they should be able to take out a Wither Storm. Let's see it, though, in three, two, one. Ender Dragon! Oh, oh my goodness. This is going to go either really well or really bad. If Frostbite attacks, they should be able to get off so many combos. That's the only way they're going to win. Where did you just go? I think you took a quick trip to Jupiter and then came back. Did you bring any souvenirs? I don't think she did. Hey, does anybody know where this Ender Dragon went? Because I really, I saw it for like a second, but really haven't seen it yet. They go over here. Is this, did it morph into an eagle? I thought for sure that the Ender Dragon would want to fight my dragons, but... I'm starting to get second thoughts. I don't see it anywhere. I could hear the lightning. It's literally summoning in so many different things. Oh, wait a second. Wait, what? What the, why? It, it's scared of my dragon, but it's fighting this dragon? What is wrong with this thing? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can punch it. Oh my gosh, Mr. Cyclops, this is not the time. This is not the time of the place. He just got exploded. Okay, well, at least I know that the Ender Dragon's over here fighting another dragon and also an attack helicopter. Am I having a dream? I need to go over here and quickly get Inferno and Frostbite so that they can get involved in the battle. Hey. Hey guys, how's it going? Get in your horns, dragons, get in the horns. Seriously, you got it. Okay, you get in that horn. Uh, you get in this horn. Get your reptilian butt in this horn now. There we go. We have them both. Please tell me the ender dragon's still over here. Please tell me the ender dragon's still over here. I think it is. Yes, it is. And it is taking zero damage from this dragon, which makes me believe that my dragons might not be able to do anything. Let's see. Let's bring it in, Frostbite. Let's bring it in, Inferno. Let's do this. Please tell me this will work. Okay, the ender dragon dragon hopefully won't run again. Whoa! It just yeeted both of my dragons like it was nothing. This thing is definitely way more powerful than the Wither Boss. Hey, guys, guys. Hey, hey, everybody that's fighting over here, stop fighting. You guys should be teaming up together against the Ender Dragon, and he's dead. Okay, I may have to hop on their back just to see if they're actually able to do any damage to this thing. Let's try a fire attack. Come on. Oh, this is bad. The Ender Dragon is not affected by it. Oh, my gosh. Frostbite just got yeeted into outer space. Not good. Okay, what if I try Oh, we're able to get off attacks. Let's go. Melee attacks work. But for whatever reason, my dragons aren't able to fly and do it. I have to be on their back in order to command them. It's working though. Look how much damage we're doing. This is sick. Frostbite. Okay, if you could maybe freeze it in place, we might actually stand a chance here. Since fire attacks don't work, I want to see what happens if I can hop on Frostbite's back. Frostbite, really? You're leaving us now? Okay, keep the Ender Dragon busy, boys. Frostbite, now is not the time to have a little midlife crisis. You have to go and you have to kill this thing. Yes, okay, I managed to get on her back. Now let's see if I can freeze the Ender Dragon. Come on, please. 
Please work, please work, please work. Dude, this thing is flying around. It's so difficult to try and get hits off. I don't know if it's affected. Yes, it is! Yes, okay, so fire doesn't work, but ice does. Wait, did it run away? No, wait, wait, get this attack helicopter out of here. Attack helicopter is down. Oh, there's the ender dragon! Go, 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 yes, yes, we have it locked in there. It's frozen. Frostbite's doing it. Frostbite just almost single-handedly defeated an upgraded ender dragon. That was amazing. Now, we have this little dragon here. I guess, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to take care of this guy, too. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the final two battles. We have, first off, the tiny wither storm pre-evolution. Let's see how they do. Okay. Wait, is this... Wait, was that it? I did... No. Wait, there is no way. Did they just kill it in, like, a second? Hold on, wait, guys, guys, guys. You're getting each other on fire. There is absolutely no way. After all that, the wither storm died in one hit? Oh, no, wait. One hit, two hit, and now it's dead. So, three hits, and the wither storm gets defeated. Okay, what about like a few wither storms? Let's see. If they are able to defeat five tiny little wither storms, I think they should be able to defeat a massive destroyer wither storm. Oh, wait a second. The wither storms are gaining health now. That's probably why they were dying. When I first spawned them in, they only had 300 health. But now that they've been in for a couple seconds, they're actually able to gain health and they're gaining it quick. I'm gonna hop on Frostbite's back and see if maybe I could do some damage to these guys. Oh my gosh, I am. Okay, as long as I stay next to them and then I bite using the bite command, it's working. Look, one of the wither storms is almost dead. One down. Okay, I need to continually bite. They are doing so much wither damage to me. It is insane. Come on, we got this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Come on. Another one down. One more to go. Let's see it. Frostbite, you're doing absolutely amazing. Don't go down now. Need to make sure to feed her just a little bit. There we go. Okay, this one's flying up really high, and it has the most health so far, but it does not stand a chance against Frostbite's, or Frostbite's bites. That was a tough sentence, but we did it. And of course, there's another dragon here. Are you joking? This dragon's insane. And dragon is now toast. So for whatever reason, Frostbite is infected with like infinite wither. It literally will not go away. I've been waiting for 10 minutes now and she still has the wither effect. Luckily, Inferno is in perfect health. So I think we just have to hop into it. The final battle, my dragons versus a destroyer wither storm. Let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. In three, two, one, <laughs> destroyer! No, 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 it's too big. Frostbite's going in. Frostbite is fighting. Oh my goodness. I think the best thing for me to do here is to hop on one of their backs. Maybe I'll be able to do a little bit of damage. Wait a second, where did Frostbite go? Either Frostbite dipped or Frostbite was eaten. Hold on, wait, I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm going right into the belly of the beast. What? What just happened? Where did my dragons go? What did you do? Okay, that is not what I expected at all. This giant enormous idiot ate my dragons. There's no way. Just to clarify, that's what actually happened. I have some other test dragons. Let's see what they do. And this dragon is really eating me as we're flying into the wither storm stomach. Yep, it's confirmed. This thing is eating everything. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, luckily those were dragon clones. Uh, but as you can see, the Wither Storm is eating dragons and it's gaining so much health. Look at its back. That was the most unexpected twist I have ever seen. Literally, they were pounding through every challenge today. My dragons were doing fantastic. And then right at the end, they just got eaten alive. Like, look at it. All of these dragons are fighting each other, but the tractor beams are sucking up everything, especially the dragons, into this dude's stomach which turns into giant mass on his back. And this thing has to have maybe like 100,000 health now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna... gentlemen earlier today i was walking around my house i went to go right click to eat a cookie i accidentally slipped and found a secret chest now guys bessie is right out there and you cannot tell her that i found this inside of the chest we have bessie's secret cookie recipe I've been looking for this for legitimately, I think, like five years. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see how to make Bessie's world famous cookies. For the ingredients, it calls for one wither storm, 62 aliens, 12 secret ingredients. Wait, here we go. We have the instructions though. So I need to put a hand on my head, put a hand on my stomach, stir my hand and tap this hand. And it, it says profit. What? What am I supposed to profit? Hold on, let's see. There, there's a second page. OMG, you look so funny. Boom, roasted. Love, Bessie. Wait, this isn't an actual recipe! Hey, Bessie, I found your secret book. You know what I think of that? Boom. 
Ro roasted. How are you still alive? Well, this is officially the worst day of my entire life. Leave a like to make it just a little bit better, please. Thanks. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new beautiful Minecraft video. And by this Witherstorm on the chest, I'm assuming we are doing another Witherstorm mob battle. I did one of these a couple weeks ago, and you guys absolutely smashed it. I believe it has close to 20,000 likes. Since you guys are enjoying it so much, I want to leave the next battle up to you. If you have any suggestions on what the Witherstorm can fight next, leave a like and a comment down below. Once this video gets to 15,000 likes, I'll be sure to do it. Also, if you guys are not already subscribed, I'm not really sure what you cookie brain people are doing. You have to subscribe. Also, be sure to turn on all notifications so you guys never miss out on a brand new video. Plus, if I end up using your idea, you're not going to want to miss it. Now, since in the last Witherstorm video, we kind of sort of maybe unleashed the Witherstorm and a lot of other mobs th that were giant and scary. So yeah, that's off limits. Bessie has now dedicated the entire planet of Mars to mob battles. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, look inside this chest. We have so many aliens. If you guys think any of these aliens today will be able to defeat the Witherstorm, be sure to comment it down below. Bye, everybody! See ya! Bessie, make sure nobody burns down the house while I'm gone. Also, if possible, please make some more of your world famous cookies because apparently, you know, I, I don't know how to do it. Thanks, Bessie. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't hold it against me that I tried to kill her with an anvil. All right, boys and girls, we made it to outer space. Now, it seems like we should just be able to launch. There are a couple other planets that we could go to in the future. So if you guys do want to see a fight on Jupiter or Uranus or maybe even Pluto, let me know. Oh, we're full. <laughs> in the bounty ball. I always forget when I come here that it's literally just 16 bouncy balls glued together. I have wings though, so I don't think we need that. Whoa, my goodness. The wings on this planet are insane. There's basically no gravity, so the wings don't really know how to operate, it seems. I'm gonna go ahead and flutter slowly and steadily to the ground. Let's go ahead and start this off with a bang. We have Mr. Witherstorm in three, two, one. Hi. Uh, oh, did you just fart on my face? Since the Witherstorm is indeed my pet, it should attack anything that I place down and go after. Or it'll just do it regardless. That egg got absolutely obliterated. Let's try a bigger egg. There you go. Witherstorm, eat the egg. All right, it didn't want to eat it, but it exploded it. We also have a very strange looking alien creature called a space jockey, which has 160 health. Let's go ahead and spawn in all 10 of these. I'm not entirely sure if the Witherstorm will even be affected since these things aren't able to fly. Oh my goodness, it's exploding them left and right. This is sick. It is raining down giant Wither Skull meteors. Hey, space jockey, don't kick me in the head again or, or the Witherstorm, he's not gonna like this, guys. I'm really, I'm trying to warn you, you should probably run in the other direction, maybe start a small Martian colony. Okay, they're dead. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, these meteors are legitimately just coming out of nowhere. Hello, space jockey. Hi, how's it going? Weather storm, get this one. I'm slapping him in the foot. Oh my gosh, dude, that is an insane tactic. The weather storm shoots a fireball. It goes up into the sky and I'm pretty sure he eats them. I'm not entirely sure what these things are, but they seem pretty cool. They're called combat synthetics. I'm not entirely sure how human they are. They look like skeletons. That's a pretty cool looking gun you got there. Now, if you guys all teamed up on the Wither Storm, they may actually stand a chance. No, or not. They all just got exploded at the same time. Wait a second. If you guys can see at the top of my screen, the Wither Storm's health slowly dipped for a second about the, as much as my pinky. Sadly, these things are getting sucked into the sky, and it helps the Witherstorm too, because the gravity here is, I believe, 50% lower. So as soon as he shoots a fireball down, it's almost like a trampoline effect where they just get flung all the way up into his belly. Our next alien is a Yacha Predator. What's up, cuties? All right, okay. All right, you guys are actually really ugly. I apologize for lying to your face. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Do you want some cooked pork chop? He didn't want any cooked pork chop. Now, for whatever reason, Bessie also gave me Marines, which I'm not entirely sure how these classify as aliens, but they are a part of the mod, so I thought I would give a ton of Marines a chance to possibly use their weapons to take out the, the Wither Storm. Okay, everybody run for their life! Seriously, guys, you don't have any oxygen on. I feel terrible. Well, this is Bessie's fault. If you know a cow named Bessie, please report her to the U.S. government. They've been trying to snag her for years. 
Sadly, she's just too smart for them, though. Kill this guy. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> okay, note to self, do not punch a Marine. You guys are gonna regret that. <laughs> I feel terrible for them. They're just getting exploded left and right. The next few mobs I need to be extremely careful with. I'm not entirely sure if you guys are familiar with the face hugger, the trilobite, and the royal face hugger, but these things could potentially latch onto my face and eat out my eyeballs. I very much would like my eyeballs to stay in place, so what I'm gonna do is spawn them far away and run. Yeah, go, 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 go. Do not chase after me. Okay, they're all, oh my gosh, they jumped on me. Let's see, they're slowly getting exploded. Now, the thing is, if they can latch onto the wither storm, they may actually be able to create a wither storm alien. Be sure to stick until the end of the video because if that happens, that would honestly be the most crazy thing ever. I would also probably have to just give up Mars to the aliens. Oh my gosh, it hugged me. It hugged me. Wither storm. This is weird. Is it, is it kissing me? I can't tell. My armor is pretty solid, but I also can't let go. And it's sticking its tongue in my eyeball. Okay, wither storm. This is exactly what I did not want to happen. I'm going to eat a, a cooked pork chop if you don't mind, alien creature. What if I try and fly away? Okay, it's still on me. All right, that was a terrible idea. Now, I'm not sure if the Wither Storm isn't attacking because it's latched to me. Oh, no, it was just waiting. Great, even better. Thanks, I almost just got my eyeballs taken out of their sockets. Now, we also have Royal Facehuggers, which have a ton more health compared to normal Facehuggers, and they can leap a lot farther. Luckily, the Wither Storm is shooting down giant meteors at these little tiny bug alien creatures and eating them. There's also something that I'm not sure if I've spawned in before, an Octo Hugger? It looks like one of the Facehuggers actually latched onto this. It literally looks like the top part of a squid. Ew, dude, they're disgusting. Oh my gosh, the Wither Storm's bursting them open and it looks like ew, they're spitting out alien goo should i lick it i nope do not lick alien goo if you ever see it oh look at this i think i found one of the wither storm's dried up meteors oh hey how's it going yeah i found one of your turds it smells we are getting down to the last of the aliens we actually have some fully sized xenomorph drones here i'm just gonna go ahead and spawn in all 32 and see if they even stand a chance against an almost fully sized wither storm if you guys haven't seen this thing before it can grow probably a hundred times bigger than it is right now once it gets to around 12,000 health it will evolve into the destroyer stage which, if happens, uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna have to spawn in all the aliens for them to even stand a chance. Next up, we have something a tad bit more difficult, a Predalien. Each one of these suckers has 200 health. They are mean, they have giant teeth, but, uh, yeah, they're getting flown up into, uh, outer space, so it doesn't seem like they're standing a chance either. Let's see what happens if I punch one. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh my gosh, he jumped right at me. Oh, he got exploded. Let's go ahead and spawn in some nautical morphs. Hey, no, yeah, not nautical. Oh gosh, they're literally all over me. I think these are fish combined with aliens. They are getting exploded left and right though, dudes. Let's keep it going. Let's spawn in goo mutants. Wait, are you hitting me? Can you stop spitting fireballs at my face? Thanks. We have three more goo mutants to get rid of. Oh my gosh, I uh, there's just too many sounds. It sounds disgusting. I'm not sure if I've had a good look at a goo mutant before. It, uh, yeah, it definitely looks like what I would call a goo mutant. And now it's a dead mutant. We might as well just keep going. Wait, how is there water? Wait, we found water on Mars? I gotta tell somebody. If I make it out of here alive, ladies and gentlemen, I need to tell Bessie that we found life on Mars. Well, technically not. I put the life on here, but we found water. Hey, how's it hanging, dude? That's it. Uh, okay, uh, did you just bite my face? <laughs> That's a bad idea, and uh, I think he's dead. Or no, he's still jumping around like a big old idiot. The Wither Storm is relentlessly just <laughs> spitting fireballs. Today is a bad day to be an alien, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, one of the royal face hookers got me. What does it mean? I think the Wither Storm may have punched it off me. Oh, yep, okay, he's dead now. Ladies and gentlemen, this monstrous beast has taken down every singular alien I've thrown at it so far. We're down to the last four. We have a Deacon Shark, an Aethon, a Xenomorph Queen, and last but not least, the Gatekeeper. I honestly think these sharks are gonna be super easy. Even though they look deadly and may have two mouths filled with teeth. Uh, yep, the Wither Storm just picked it up. I think they're actually having a decent fight though. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in some more to see if maybe the Wither Storm will just Okay, yep, he's sucking him right up into the sky. It's like a Sharknado! 
Oh my gosh, this looks sick! Except, uh, it did look cool until the Witherstorm decided he wanted to kill all of them. This is so weird, look, they're just spinning in circles. The Witherstorm's trying to hit it. Uh, it, it kind of, sort of working. You're doing great, Nick and Shark. Everybody give it up. He's doing his absolute fantastic best work ever. Except he only has 30 health, so as soon as the Witherstorm figures out what the heck's happening, it, 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 it's dead. It's been 20 minutes. How have you not figured this out yet? You see, you start with just, you, you just hit it. All you have to do is just hit it over the head. It's a flying shark. I'm honestly not entirely sure what I'm watching anymore. It is kind of beautiful though. The stars are out, the shark is flying in circles, and I'm pretty sure the shark died from not being in the water. The Witherstorm did nothing. Let's see if the Witherstorm can do anything against the biggest aliens, the giant 400 health Athons. These things so far are damaging me. Stop it. Stop it, you big old nerd plebs. I will turn you into cookies. Or tell Bessie to turn you into cookies. Oh my gosh, they're flying after myself in the Witherstorm. Let's go. Come on, Witherstorm. Seriously, I need you to help right now. I know they're massive. I know they look like giant weird mosquito creatures. But I need you to take them out. The Witherstorm is actually taking a little bit of damage here and there. The problem is, though, it's sucking up just one Aethon at a time, and uh, I spawned in 12. Ah, they're biting my toenails! I'm going to see if I can maybe group together all the Aethon creatures, so then the Witherstorm can just shoot a ton of missiles into this crater, and we should be good. I'm gonna hide in this little diggy hole. All right, go ahead, Witherstorm. Kill, kill, kill this guy. Oh, there he goes. He literally just teleported right next to me. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but he's taking another Aethon up into uh, the stratosphere. Maybe the Witherstorm's just tired. It's been fighting aliens all day. I need to give it an actual challenge. One queen, two queen, three queen. Okay, these things are just massive. These are the strongest Xenomorphs that I could spawn in. Okay, I'm going. I'm punching. I'm doing things. There we go. The Witherstorm has an Aethon on its back, and it is still shooting down fireballs. It really does care. Take some pork chops, you beautiful bitch. Beast. We might as well finish off today's video with a bang. If any of the aliens literally has any chance of defeating the Witherstorm, I need to spawn in their leader, the Gatekeeper. Oh no. No, no, wait a second. It's absorbing all of them. It is literally going to use them to create a giant explosion. This is not really what I expected. If you are an alien, I would run for your life. The head alien has decided to take over all of your guys' power and is uh, probably going to use you guys as sacrifices and also myself as a sacrifice. Wait a second, are they up in the sky fighting each other? Hold on, I think that's the Witherstorm. Oh my gosh, what was that? The Witherstorm is taking a ton of damage. Oh, okay, if the Witherstorm dies, I am getting the heck out of here ASAP. That literally looks like a supernova. The Witherstorm was slain by the Gatekeeper. Oh, all right, okay, all right. Mars is lost, ladies and gentlemen. Mars has been taken over by the Martian aliens. Nip, 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 while it's still up in the air, I'm getting to flip out of here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're happy. You guys asked for the Witherstorm versus aliens, and now this thing is trying to absolutely just blast me out of existence. Rocket ship, I need you to go now. Why are we counting down from 20? Why can't we count down from three? Go, 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 go now before the black hole sucks us in. Okay, it's sucking us in. Please tell me we made it out. Ladies and gentlemen, if I don't make it out of here, tell Bessie I hate her face. And also to please send some cookies to me with my grave. Wait, I think we did it! Now, as long as the aliens can't figure out a way back to my beautiful house with all of my pet animals and Bessie, we should be good. I'm also in the middle of nowhere, so I need to figure out how to get home. If you guys did enjoy, though, please be sure to drop a like. Also, if you guys do want to see another episode, we're gonna have to do it on another planet, so comment what planet I should do the battles on next. Also, be sure to let me know what you want the Witherstorm to fight. Once we hit 15,000 likes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get right on it. That's gonna wrap it up for me, though, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta go let Bessie know that, um, yeah, we kinda lost Mars. Uh, hopefully that goes well. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys back in here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes. There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at BeckBroJack.co. Get yours today.